you have a real passion for caring about children. Yes. So tell me where this started. I know some about your personal background. Would you share that please so that everybody can understand about your background? Okay, um, family is really important to me. Um, we went through uh, the Vietnam War and um, what happened was while we were um, getting away from the, the, the communists and we, we immigrated from Vietnam to Canada. So you lived in Vietnam and at age three? I was only three. Yes. Okay. I don't remember much, but one thing that my, my parents tell me is that while we were escaping the communists, um, we were knocking on doors and, and trying to, to hide. And even our own family members were so scared for themselves that they didn't let us in. And, and to me, that, that was really um, unfortunate. Um, and on top of that, um, uh, my parents went through a divorce. And um, I just want to make sure that I don't do the, make the same mistake. And uh, family is really important to me because everything I do is, is for my family. And if I understand correctly, um, in the 70s, the late 70s, when this happened and you were leaving, you were part of what many of us heard about and talked about were the boat people. You were in a prison camp. Yes. Yourself. Yes. I'm a boat pr prisoner of war. Prisoner of war. Yes. I mean, okay, so we can joke about it now, <laughs> and it's something that's just natural to him, but when I heard it about it, and then in the boat people getting out of Vietnam to go over to Laos, and then you had sponsor a sponsor family from here in Canada yes. that helped get you here to Canada. Yes. Um, we were fortunate enough that there was a program in, um, in Quebec um, and th there was a, a French Canadian family, the Lausons. Uh, they, they were really um, loving family and they, they really wanted to help and, and make a difference in the world um, and they decided to, to take on a Vietnamese family and they took us into their homes um, and we lived there for a couple of years and then we eventually uh, started learning the language and then we we decided to to make it on on our own and uh, we still keep the relationship right now so there you are in a prison camp there you are floating on a boat you're rescued and taken on land and then this family helped get you into Canada exactly it's a heck of a story 